dream house home improvements in this video i'm going to show you how to connect a biodigester to a waste drainage system in ghana we call them gutters so we are right now we are at a site working on a typical biodigester construction and then it just occurred to me that let me show you how to go about doing that in a very short quick time let's go so basically when you are constructing a biodigester at a particular location or on site you have options you have three options you have the so-called pit option whereby you bury the wastewater line and then you put stones and everything in it and then you cover it with a rubber carpet or a black polythene bag and then the second option is to have a soak away dam whereby you have the top cover dam for it everything and then the wastewater goes there and then it seeps slowly into the ground or onto the earth surface depending on whatever type of soil you are meeting there and then there's a the third option whereby you can simply have it connected to a drainage system or a wastewater causeway or a gutter which one is available to you and then the wastewater seeps through after the filtration everything has been done the wastewater seeps through and then it goes into the gutter so in this video i'm just going to show you how we have done some of them like that typical ones just for your understanding After you have done your setting, your digging, and then the construction, whether you are using blocks or you are using brick fabricated slabs, and all of the setting has been done, and then the biodigester itself has been filtration done, porous system done, and then your fiber or your your organic materials have also been laid on the biodigester bedding. The next thing is to know where the leche pipe is going. So in this case, the leche pipe is going into a drainage system or a gutter so depending on where the location is and how far away it is from you you are going to have the leche pipe coming from that particular angle is it at the longer side or is it at the shorter side so in this particular case it's coming at the shorter side and there's a wall in between the digester and then the drainage system in the house and that drainage system that you see there is the one that's going all the way into the bigger drainage system outside so what we did or what you have to do is to connect your pipe your four four inches pipe it can be four inches it can be three inches pipe and do the necessary chiseling and then have the pipe laid out into the gutter or into the drainage system ideally what we do is to have a non-return valve the non-return cap at the end of the pipe so that no animal or anything else can pass through it and then whenever there's water inside the digester it can pass through that particular pipe and then it can go into the waste water drain system the key for you for this thing to work is to make sure that the water is running there's always water running outside otherwise any stagnant water will smell and then you'll be blamed for having a bad digester that is causing problems in the area or you'll be blamed for constructing a digester and then putting the human waste in the gutter which is not exactly what you are doing. You are only filtering the wastewater into a gutter. In other places, like I've said in other videos, you can have the wastewater in such a way that it can be used for other purposes. And people always say, why are you putting toilet wastewater in a gutter? And you have to let them know that the biodigester water is even cleaner than the kitchen and the bathroom wastewater. Because of the rapid separation that happens whenever you do flush the human waste from inside the house, there's rapid separation that happens in the biodigester. So the water is as clean as much as possible. And then there's extra filtration, there's enhanced filtration that have all been done just to separate the water from the human waste. And this is the water that is going into the gutter. If you're having problems uh, or somebody is disputing your fact or whatever you're saying, I mean, you get the a vortex bottle, you fetch that water, you take it to the Ghana Water Research Institute, and then you have it tested. The E. coli level and all the necessary levels that you need to satisfy for the environmental safety issues will come out and then you can have this as part of your certification for your biodigester construction and it can be put down anybody who who challenges you you can show them that particular certificate that the water you are dropping in the in the gutter is safe and it's not got any 
effect on the environment. So basically, that's how you go about constructing a biodigester and having it connected into a drainage system. Like this video and follow us on other videos on this channel. The next video that I'm showing you will explain to you further how biodigesters work and how they are giving homeowners that need a peace of mind in terms of their human waste management issue.